This pixel based custom room is actually so good. I've installed it on my device, which is Poco F3, which is Mi 11X, and it's available for some other devices also. Which custom room I'm talking about in this video? This is Project Zephyrus, and if you don't know, this is based on Pixel and having some cool, useful features. I'm not talking about a customization hub, but it still brings you some useful things. Also, it's now up to date, and you can see the about phone information is also rebranded Android 14 Project Zephyrus, and it's also updated. And and as you can see the security patch is of latest 5th of january 2024 which are the features included here what are the things you have to keep in mind after installing this thing let's have a quick look at all those things in this video stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end if you take a look at the quick settings panel as it is based on pixel so you have the dark quick settings panel if you want to make it light you can't do so in the settings app but by installing some modules like aosp modes now it's now renamed as pixel expert you can install it as a magic module and done having the pixel launcher pre-installed also if you move on to the wallpapers and style section you have some these themed icons option else no extra options available for you but in the terms of wallpapers you have some wallpapers let me show you the wallpapers which are included here by moving into more wallpapers this also supports the AI wallpapers, which is one of the main highlights of using this one. And new AI wallpapers are already available there. How you can install and use them? Simply click any one of them, choose these things. You have the options available. You can choose any one of them. For example, we have climatic, etc. Sorry, daisy, and we have leaf, flower. You can choose any one of them. So if I choose leaf, then I can choose the color. This is how you can generate or create an AI wallpaper for free. I agree, inspire me, as you can see, new wallpapers are being generated, it's part of the latest Android 14 and it's available in most of the custom rooms by default, in case it's not available in your custom room, try out Project Zephyrus if it is available. Some of these wallpapers look so cool, you can install and use them very easily, but yes, in case you don't want to use them, you already have some pre-installed wallpapers, they're dedicated wallpapers from Project Zephyrus, the previous wallpapers, some extra interesting wallpapers like these for example three or four wallpapers are available here and as all the google pixel wallpapers are also included so yes that's quite amazing in network and internet section you will find some useful things for example the data usage and the network traffic indicator both of these features are actually so useful available in this custom room already and moving into the app section you will find the ignore windows secure flags so simply remove the screenshot and screen record limits for all the applications. One of the must having features, it's available in this one too. In moving into the notification section, you will find the heads up notification customization where you can enable the option make heads up less annoying. It is not having the retaker notification options. It is not having that latest island notification option, but that's completely fine. In battery section, you will find the battery icon customization. You can even see in my status bar, I have the custom battery icon already available. You have the option to choose between these. Landscape iOS 16 is actually one of my favorites, so I'm using this one. But we already have some extra options available. In quick settings, you can also customize the battery style. Everything is available here for you to customize. Most of the things, some useful things are available. In sound and vibration, you will find the per app volume control, vibrate to indicate call status, some features like that, but not else. But in vibration and haptics, you have the system slider haptics available. I'm not exactly sure if you use vibration or haptics on your device or not. In display section, you have the option for some fonts customization. So yes, you don't need to install any Magisk module or kernel SE module to install some custom fonts. Icon packs, only few icon packs are there, not much, but still good enough. Some brightness slider related options are available here for you. Some options related to icon manager. For example, icons which you can, which you want to enable or disable from the status bar. Some options like secure quick setting tiles is also good. The Bluetooth dialog is also changed here. I think so in Android 15, you will get this Bluetooth quick setting tiles are basically that pop up and else things are basically same. So some great options are already available. Some great useful things are available there. It's not about the customization hub, but it's having all the useful things what you need. Most of the useful thing at least. In system navigation, you have same kind of options. Gestures have the lift to check phones, swipe to screenshot and else. So these are things available here. 
you if you want to try it out on a device if it is available for your device don't forget to check out your device support group we'll provide you the link in the description for that it also supports ota update at least for my device i did not try it out yet but i guess it should work the link is available in the description for all the official supported version if your device supports the unofficial version you can check out that in other device support groups else you have the same kind of things available in security section you don't have the app lock unfortunately available because i did not found that but the application downgrade feature is present here so you can simply downgrade the applications by the way it might lead to some crashes but yes it's here so in case this is useful for you you want to use it you can so these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video i will see you in the next one until then goodbye and make sure to subscribe the channel